Bada boom, look at that. Hello. Bang. Oh shit, I forgot to get the smoke made. Oh. I was gonna get a big elaborate smoke machine. And yeah, yeah. You just like come out the smoke and there he is, there he is and there they are. Brilliant. Hello, Troubadour's here as well. Pat, Arthur, Will W, hello mate. And Sean and Michael. Sean Michael. <laughs> Sean Michael. You, you know Sean Michaels. Michaels. Sean and Michael. Sean Michaels. Were you into your 80s WWF team? No. Well, actually, mm, I used to watch it a bit, yeah. Man, I was obsessed, man. I was, the, I was the one, like, wrestling teddy bears on the bed. Oh, yeah. Every time I'd yeah. get in a hotel, slamming them down. JB! Yeah. <laughs> JB's, in the, JB's in the cockpit. I said, oh, yeah. I just said. And then he appeared. Like that. Boom. Like that. Watching from the cockpit, mate. Oh, what a legend. No mess around. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Happy Saturday. Uh, yes, indeed. Happy Saturday, mate. I like McLaughlin and Hutch a lot. We like you a lot, mate. Yo, when Tim's getting his new Kiesel. When, when Tim sends another email yeah. and asks, where's the Kiesel? And we, we email him a lot. Thank, yeah, thanks for reminding me. <laughs> Top Gear, hello. Hello. Sean, hello. Yes, mate. Yes, everyone good? Everyone having a, a very pleasant weekend so far? I hope so. Let's start off with a little disco tonight, Tim. What do you think of that? A little disco. Well, it is Saturday. Yeah. I've, been, I've been playing the light speed a lot today. Well, actually, not just today. I used it for our School McRock lesson. That's a disco guitar, isn't it? Oh, really? mate, it's, it's very so disco -y. I, was, I was worried that I thought you were going to dance. <laughs> guitar. I was like, what guitar is he going to play? Yes, I know. Look. Oh, <laughs> let me turn on another camera. You can never have enough cameras. That's what we need. Don't top. forget to hit the thumbs up. You see, Arthur's on it. If you're watching it and you're logged into your YouTube account, which I hope you're not watching us in incognito. That means you're doing other things in incognito too. Give the video a thumbs up. What a legend, mate. Thank you, Arthur, for the reminder. You are very, very professional. The most professional man here, Arthur. You see, I don't even have a good plectrum today, Tim. I need to put all these plaques in. That's an average plaque. Okay. All my tips are gone. Yeah. Oh, well, have a great time, JB. Safe travels, my friend. Look at that. Look at that. Sparkly light speed by Kiesel. Shred Club. Hello, Rob. Right, we've got a few different, look at that. The man has got, <laughs> we've got cameras planted everywhere today. Yeah. Oh, by the way, does Tim look like a giant? Stand up, Tim, and show him how big you really are. <laughs> Do something, look at that! <laughs> look at that, ladies and gentlemen. It's a WF wrestling, isn't it? Look at that. I'm, right, oh, I'm off you, short. You're off. <laughs> <laughs> Stand beside the wall, right, right beside the wall. Be. Yeah, I'll put some music on. <sighs> look at that. It, it looks like he can touch the ceiling. <laughs> Partly the reason, I mean, Tim is big, but also partly the reason is um, <laughs> he's on the outside of a very, very a wide camera. The GoPro is obviously very wide, and anytime you're on the outside of a wide lens, it's a bad look <laughs> or a, a weird look. Yeah. Girls hate it. When you go ultra wide on your phone and the girls are on the side of the camera and they see all their faces blown up and distorted, they don't like it. Surprising, surprisingly. Right. <laughs> Tim's big in Japan, mate. Yes. Mate. Tim wouldn't even get out the airport in Japan. He'd be mobbed. All the ladies would be like trying to get a, a hair. Tim! <laughs> Tim! One! One! Stroking it. <laughs> All right, we've oh, got score. presets and we've got presets. That's dry. That's reverb. All right. Is the, whoa, did I just see the camera glitch? If the camera glitches, 
Well, let me know and I'll just stop it from spinning because it's tugging. It's tugging on a cable. There's only one thing you should be tugging on a Saturday night and it's not a HDMI cable. It's the neck of a guitar. <laughs> yeah. What a C Dorian. Does anyone know what key C Dorian is? G minor. G minor? No, your pen tongue can be C minor, but then. I'll tell you what then, I'll, I'll just go. We've got to check it out. Now 
little pulls in. Top down. A D minor though. You need a little bit more volume. Okay, I got gotcha.
There's no rules on rock. There's no rules. Yeah. So Alex, um, Alec was asking about the, the knob. Uh, I think it was Alec. My mind is a bit off right now, but right now, it is working. It's a miracle. But sometimes it won't work. So I'm sure it's just like a little dust. And Mario is here. Look at this. Look at this. Big time legend. Look at that. Wow. Emma's getting the first horn of the night. What a guy. What a guy. Hope you're doing good, mate. Um, yeah. Um, there was a question earlier about thumb positioning. All right, okay. And um, yeah, maybe we can scroll back to that. Um, I'm, I'm presuming it was more about lead playing and yeah, yeah. thumb positioning. It's, it's interesting, I got into that a little bit on um, today's School of McRock lesson, mm -hmm. which is probably going to go live tomorrow, I think. But if I just pause that back and track, I guess the thing is with a thumb, <clears throat> is to be dynamic. Absolutely, you've got to move it. Sometimes you're going to have it traditional, like this. You're going to be like, no, no problem. And then sometimes you're going to need that... Oh, you're gonna need that leverage and then you're gonna have to drop it down. A lot of the time when I drop it down, I'm like past the halfway point. So I'm really clamping like that lower part of the neck. So it's like if I'm going for a really big like lick, I ain't gonna have it like this. Because like straight away I can feel that's tension. Mm -hmm. So it's just about being dynamic with it and like understanding like how do you get leverage, how do you get power. But what do you think? What do you think, Tim? Well, I think the thumb movement thing has got to be considered as a skill that you've got to develop. Yeah. You know, it's a separate thing. And I think a lot of the times it can get, you know, I've certainly in the past ignored it, mm -hmm. uh, but now I consider it as something that I actually practice doing, you know? Yeah. So I've like two modes, obviously like, I have my legato mode, but then if I've got myself like Hendrixy blues mode, then the thumb's over. <laughs> You're like, um... You get that loose vibrato. And then the trick is to go between them, isn't it? So when you're shredding... So that's where I am on 
You're very low down, yeah, yeah. similar to similar. me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I think, but I think then there's like a kind of medium point with me where I try and get the feel of that mm -hmm. in this position, because sometimes you can't get to it. So I'll practice things like... <laughs> trying to get the vibrato to sound like that rather than... Yeah, yeah, from the, yeah. Because the, the, one of the problems is in that thumb position, the vibrato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get that kind of... You need that anchor, yeah, doesn't it? That's it's like that when you... Because you kind of like anchor, anchoring. Yeah, 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 yeah. But being flexible and understanding, it's like picking, I guess. Yeah. It's like you don't just always hold a pick like that and just go up and down. I mean, maybe you do and when you're by yourself. But like, you know, <clears throat> you know what it's like. Yeah. You got to be dynamic with the picking as yeah, well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good question. Definitely when you're bending, you should try and have it behind the neck when... Uh, ah. Matt, no problem. Definitely when you're bending, uh, but you should have it behind the neck when I'm... You should have it behind the neck when I'm playing. Maybe, uh, Rob, maybe I should have my hand behind your neck whilst you're playing. And Tim as well. We'll all put our hands behind Rob's neck. For support. For support, yeah. You'll have three hands on the back of his neck. Very handy. <laughs> Good help. Good help. Make sure we play a synthwave track because we've been playing funk and blues and it's Saturday night! Saturday night! D minor, I think. Here we go! Oh yeah, no sleep next!
a great track to throw on when you get in the car and drive right through the <clears throat> fucking window of Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> Boot. Let's go. Yes. Not a sensible thing to do. Don't advise no, doing that. Not really, no. Asda, you see. And now that's straight through the front window of Asda. <laughs> yeah, see. Sean's getting ideas now. Sean's getting an idea. Please play animals! We never tried animals. It would be a definite jam version of animals. Yeah, yeah. If I can find it in the track list. And yes, yeah. No, so I, uh, Joseph, I, I broke it a while back. I'm very disappointed in myself. Um, maybe I should reassign it. Maybe I could reassign it to another button. I don't know if I should do it in real time now, though. Ooh. Okay. Give it a go. Oh, okay. Some buttons don't feel as bad. Um, oh, we've got... Ooh, um, sound, mixer. It might have got ooh. better. Uh, ooh, oh, no, it's starting to record th things. No, that's not a good idea. Um, uh, crickets. X, reverb, pitch, mix. Oh, sensory, trash talk. Okay, did that work, guys? Beep. Yeah, because I don't monitor the stream thing in, in here. I don't, we don't like, we don't hear ourselves. But I, it looks like it's letting audio through. Is it doing a beep or not? Yes, yes. It's doing a beep. And oh, it, your beep's back. Oh, me, uh, wait, wait a minute. Now, here's the real test. Did you hear what I said there? Did you hear a word of what I said? Because if so, this is great. It means I've got my swear button back. Oh, you heard beep. <laughs> is that... Is that true? Like, I don't... I don't... Just the beep. Oh, it's working. Yeah, yeah that's good, yeah. isn't it? Do you want to try it, Hutch? Yeah, you ready? Three, two, one. Shit the bed. <laughs> So, did anyone hear what Tim said? It's working. Success. <laughs> Just Fucking business. But I did, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, guys. I trolled you. Because I didn't touch it when... <laughs> Shit, the bed! <laughs> you see? Because I didn't touch it. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on mic, though. <laughs> I, did, I, I didn't actually push it when did I... You? I mean, just I, let everybody hear my profanity. Yes, mate. Colors. <laughs> it's all good. Hi. What was the request for? No sleep? Is that right? Yeah. Uh, no. No, it was sleep. Was that right? No sleep? No, it was um, the one with uh, Michelangelo on. Michelangelo. Beatle, you know that. What's it called? What's the correct? Oh, Fingers of Fury. Fingers of Fury? We don't have it. Yeah, I don't remember Fingers of Fury. No, no. It's a track we did, Thomas. Yeah, I know. Right. Uh, but I think I think my Ableton had problems and then I didn't get a back. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think we had a backing track of it. Was that, was that right? Fingers of Fury? Yeah, yeah, Fingers of Fury. Yeah. I think that was it. Um, oh, we'll have to just... Yeah, we'll just have to play along to a drum beat. I got a bass line for you though. Don't worry. I got your bass line for you. B minor. But wait a minute, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take this a little bit further. Whoa, not that, not that further. Play and stop. 
I don't know how long this loops for. But <coughs> see. What the hell? Oh, that's gone. That's all. It's on. It's, it's, it's gone crazy. See, that's not. Oh, that, that, that loop I, that <coughs> loop I ain't doing nothing for us, Tim. Oh, unless it's 70 BPM. So it has to loop double the amount of time. Let's try it again. Third time loop, you guys. Oh, maybe not. This is why I was never gonna do the Ed Sheeran thing very well. All right, here we go, guys. One, two, three, four. I'm sorry, that was... <laughs> Can I just buy a boss looper? Yeah. Oh, I actually have an RC505 downstairs. You look like you're gonna go and get it and stop <laughs> it in like that. <laughs> How quick will it take to set up? Oh. Do you remember my last looper setup? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate, it was, it was incredible. Like yeah, because yeah, it had four, four sends and four returns. Will I be an uncensored version of the stream for subscribers? It just looped by itself, I didn't do anything. Time for a polychrome, yeah, loop alright. It's a flow 1.0 by Dunlop. I think Tim uses the same. Yeah, he uses the same one he used for the blue. A blue one. Oh shit, the mouse! Sorry! There you go, the beep. The beep's back.
too too fast. Yeah. Mate. All right. Um, yeah, I definitely prefer when I'm in the heat of it, the flow, t uh, flow pick. Yeah. I feel like this camera's jumping because it's tugging on the HDMI cable, so I'm just gonna stop it. Um, killer Taylor, killer, <laughs> hey, killer Taylor. Thank you, Taylor. Um, oh, 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 mate. Right, let's scroll back, see what we're missing. Okay. Fuck, mouse is like crazy all over the place today. Uh, so we, we know what picks we're using, the, yeah. Hello Chicago timer, good afternoon. Uh, the pick of picks, yes. Michael likes it a little bit lighter. Mm -hmm. Don't blame him. Um, can't say dogs are begging for their walk. Uh, yes, yeah. Chris, even though all, I didn't get feedback on my track and it seems like my post. Where, where is this post? Chris, I've seen this comment and I replied to your comment on a YouTube uh, message, I think it was, or a YouTube comment, I replied to it. I don't know where it went, man. I, I don't know, we, like, we don't delete things, so I don't know, where did he put it? Did he put, like, a link or something? Maybe on Discord? Discord is moderated, so it might be, in, like, auto-removed if it was, like, picked up as spam or something like that. But yeah, Chris, let us know. I have no recollection, recollection personally, of deleting anything, mate. Rad Brad tuned in a few minutes ago as well. Rad Brad is here. Chonky as well, Robert says. <coughs> uh, Rad, good news, Rad Brad. Um, we have um, a beep button that apparently is working. Um, how low are those at the 12th? Um, are pretty damn low. Pretty damn low. I, I, I don't have mine measured anymore. But like, we both have a relatively low action, I'd say. Yeah. Oh, my volume pot's not working at... Oh, it's, it is. Now it is, but it's, it's not sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty low action. Do you play with a pretty low action? Uh, this one's a little bit higher up than the orange one, which is really low. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Can we zoom it? Zoom in. Uh, Hard no, to get an idea. Oh, go this way. Hard. It's hard. Uh, we'll tilt it back a touch. We go. Yeah, we'll go a little bit like that. Yeah, it's nice, yeah. Isn't it? yeah. Um, oh, guys, um, the one year anniversary sale for Polychrome DSP with Cryboy Free and all that good stuff, it ends on Monday. It's finished. So if you haven't already picked up the Polychrome DSP McRockland suite, uh, the discount code will end on Monday. The code is one year, obviously, all together. And uh, you'll get a special discount on the Polychrome DSP website at the checkout. So, what woods is the back of this neck? Um, Braxel, this one is, um... Jeez, Maurice. Yeah, I gotta get this fuck, this fucking... Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. Wait a minute. There you go. Um, Rex... Sorry. Yeah. Fucking beep. Oh, fuck. Shit. Sorry, guys. Close enough. Okay. Um... What in the fuck? Oh, that, that what amazing. the fuck was that? Shit. Sorry, guys. Oh, I still got my... My boss thing on. Oh, okay. Feel like I'm tasting, taking fucking. Oh shit, crazy pills. Right, back to the neck thing. This is a walnut with purple heart. I love walnut necks. One of my favorites. And the back of yours? Oh shit, Vina, you you have purple heart and walnut too, but you got five. Yeah, you got a five piece. Now I got a three piece. Five piece. Look at that. I really like the the look of the five piece and walnut. Look at that. Feels amazing walnut is like... Walnut's a fantastic wood, yeah. The, yeah. yeah. There's, a, there's a difference between a three-piece walnut and purple heart and a five-piece purple heart. Walnut and purple heart, yeah. Greetings from New York! McRock sounding amazing, usual hutch. Sexy Lagarde playing earlier. Keep on rocking, boys. P.S. Marmite rules. Oh, I don't know about Marmite. Like, I mean, I appreciate that comment. Sick guns. Yeah. It's a good name. But, um, yeah, do you like Marmite? No, I like Marmite crisps. But I don't like Marmite, like, on bread and like that, obviously. Oh, oh, and I like Twiglets. 
you know, twiglets? Yeah, yeah. Oh, twiglets are great. I like twiglets. I, like twiglets. I haven't had them in like a long time. Yeah. yeah. Can you name your favorite new guitarist? Oh, that's that's. <laughs> it's weird. Like I, 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 when I go for a run or to the gym, I would. I, you know what? To be fair, I'm gonna be fair here. It was some really good Spotify suggested progressive music that I was listening to. I went on a walk, and I was like, I would actually listen to this. I can't remember who they are, but usually I would just put like some, you know electronic stuff on synthwave or hip-hop or drum and bass whatever but then some prog stuff came on and it was like the only thing is is six tracks in a row sounded like the same kind of song mm -hmm. it all had the same kind of drums like you know like yeah that's the thing that gets me really. <laughs> it was like the the stacks everyone was using the same stack on the crashes you know yeah. <laughs> Uh, that, that was like, oh, but it sounded, I mean, the talent of guitarists, though. It's incredible, isn't it? As, at an all-time high, but it's just the, the, the kind of listener, listenability of it is at an all-time low for me. I agree but with that. I mean, I end up listening. Extreme talent. <clears throat> Breaks is still cool. Breakbeat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you go, like... Uh, well, guitar beat. and breaks? No, no, just break break beat on beat port. If oh, okay. The genre okay. on beat port breaks. It's it's still. Whew. still. One more hour before kebabs. That, that sounds good to me. Oh wait, wait a minute. Did I did I have the notifications on? <clears throat> Let me make sure. <laughs> okay. Oh, we got overlays. Oh man, I, oh, we, oh, with the alerts on. Okay, the alerts are on now. Okay. I don't know what this one is. It's a rectangle. I don't know what that is though. Um, okay. What? Let's see. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay. Um, cool. Let's get back on the, the, the chat then. So we're, we've just scrolled back probably about three minutes worth of chat there. Uh, that is so beautiful. Uh, the, I think we, we probably lost the context of when he typed that because surely he's not talking about hi. Um, that, you know. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well, look at this. Okay. I just got the McRoglin suite and love it. Do you have any recommendations to get an eight? Ooh, an eight bit or chip tune like effect. Any chance of a preset for it? Currently, your best bet would be to use the grain delays and pitch it up. So you know on like presets like this? Let me turn the tune off. Presets like this? You hear, you hear like the uh, the green, the granular delay getting pitched up. So I would spend some time playing around with the. See now we've got the the alerts on. I had them off all stream. I'm sorry guys if you are doing things. Um, yeah, so I would spend some time with that. But I like the idea of trying to do a preset. That makes makes sense. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you are enjoying it, Kimball. Happy exploring. What about going really extreme so you could use like the, the Octavator, okay? Mm -hmm. Synth Oct. The Synth Oct, and then the third drive pedal, what's that? Riffer. Riffer, because that mm -hmm. gives you a little bit of like lo-fi, mm -hmm. digital kind so, of crazy. And then use the, the grain delay, but on a short feedback. Ooh, that's a good shout, yeah, so. So right underneath this, you hear there's a Synth Oct sound, right? Like high up, so use it for delay. Right, okay. and then put the grain delay on it. Yeah. On a short feedback. That could it. be good. So. Can we try it? Um, I can try it. So what we're gonna do? Screen share. Yeah. Oof. So we're gonna take my guitar channel here. This is what I'm using. This is the Smackdown Oct. 
and we have synth oct on without synth oct. Also, oh, I thought that had the riffer on it, but let's try riffer so it's a little bit more fuzzy. What about the pitch, the, the octavate fu fully wet? Fully wet. And then that's going to give us like loads of like artifacts. And then delay with the grains, but high. Yeah. Turned on. <laughs> Make it short. Make it real short. Oh, that's pretty wild. What happens if you take the feedback? back? Down. All oh, right, now we're talking. Yeah, and if you turn that down a bit. I'm going to turn it right down so it's just like a trail, like a vapor trail. Love it. Right. And then some extreme EQs. There you are. So there'll be one at like a really. There's like no, an IR that's like quite. Oh, that's quite quite aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know, something like that could work, maybe tighten it and bright it. Well, and then it up a good way get it get it on. <laughs> there we go. Um, <laughs> okay, pop it in and give a thumbs and say hi. Oh, mate, thank you, Joey. What a guy, what a legend. I should get a Kiesel, but I'm not sure how I should trick it out. Keep it simple. If you're in doubt, mate, keep it simple. All right, we're about three minutes behind on the chat, guys, so we're going to go through the list and try and catch up with the chat. Um, how do you sit in those headless guitars? How do you string those headless guitars? Oh, string it, mate. Yeah, uh, string goes in there, the ball end, regular strings, and then you just lock them here in the top. Very easy. Easy peasy, mate. Um, What? Have you got your hands on what? What is that, mate? What? What? Would I? It's horse. I'm not following me. Yeah. Oh, oh. Have you got your hands on? Five, I'm not following you. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's three samples for free. Kick. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Snap. Clap. <laughs> <laughs> Emma will be like, okay, I'll make a hit record of those. Uh, jam with the 8-string, it looks lonely. I, I know, I know. I, I was playing the 8-string a lot. I was obsessed with the 8-string. And then I, I've only been using it for um, testing presets recently. Jewel hell, yeah, 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 that's true. I forgot your, your, oh, blue, yeah, yeah. your blue hyperdrives. Beautiful, mate. Beautiful. Should, uh... We'll, yeah. do a, we'll do a hyperdrive evening, couldn't we? You should do a hyperdrive uh, special. Yeah, hyperdrive next one. Cause yes. I don't think we've ever got the blue one. It's Lemmy! Second horn of the evening. <laughs> Look at that. Hello, welcome. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing extra good. Yeah. Extra great. I couldn't get into the Discord for some reason, so posted it in the chat. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, links in the chat, as in links here, more than likely will be auto-deleted by the default live stream admin. It's not me going, delete Chris immediately. 
Like it's common for a lot of live streams to not allow links in the chat just in case it's a random link and mm -hmm. chat members go off and then all of a sudden it's chaos. Um, I don't know why you can't get on the Discord, Chris. We, we have a lot of people on the Discord. If you want to join us on the Discord, mcrockland.com forward slash Discord. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that sound would be absolutely mental. Oh, okay. I don't know. I, I tried a lot of Steve's guitars. Yeah, yeah. Did Hudge tell you about my dream? Um, I, I, she, she, let me dreamt about, I think she dreamt that we were on tour. Oh, okay. Like hey. in the real world. In the like, a real tour. Not like, yeah. I see, I see. Um, no, I haven't talked to Steve like over the last couple of months. No, for sure. No. No, indirectly, maybe, yeah, over the last couple of months, but yeah. No Hodge had green hair. Oh, there's more. Oh, I had green hair, yeah. Oh, there's more to the story than meets the eye then. Hodge with green hair, I can imagine, is a big problem. I don't think I'd say that. All right, I tell you what, we were going to play a track earlier and then we got sidetracked by a drum beat. What about a... Whoa! What? What? You see, you see, you see, this is why I'm not a professional, Tim. What about this, Tim? I'll give you a good close-up on the hair. Yeah. Look at that. I'll give you an extra color. <laughs> green. Oh, Not no. green. Oh, it's like a zombie. Let me drink. Maybe a zombie. Green movie. movie. <laughs> Should be on G3. Oh, what? Jeff was a good. This is Lemmy singing.
Let me get some, uh... Alright, we got you, Tom. Don't worry, Tom. We'll sort it out for you. We'll fix it, we'll fix it. Two seconds, mate. We've got, we've got to take a break for a second because okay. there's two things. One is we need to, uh, to give Tom some feedback on what to do to because we, he's, he's not put the okay. code in. But also there's a question about this expression pedal. And this guy said they shipped it like two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'm going to send him a video right now. Send him a video. Uh, yeah, we're on a live stream right now, and um, I mentioned a little while back that there may be a new pedal coming in to rival or better what I'm using right now. And um, so, uh, Joseph, did you get the new Spring Expression pedal to replace the Mission? And the answer is, no, I'm sending it on WhatsApp now. It's not here. There you go. Do you think that's a good enough message to... Yes. So no, the fucking oh fucking hell! Oh, sorry guys, sorry guys. My my language is so out of state. I'm not used to the coordination of the beeping. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm, I feel a bit bad, but we will send it. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's the CEO owner of the company. So we'll see when he replies with a nice video with your name on it, Joseph. Uh, Tom, thank you so much for purchasing the McRockland suite um, on Monday morning, possibly tomorrow morning, actually. Um, we'll have someone in the office and um, please send a support ticket on the website. It'll take you about three or five seconds. And as soon as it comes in, when the guys are in there, well, we'll get your 50% refunded to your card or however you paid straight away. A surprisingly amount of people have done that. Every day, mm -hmm. two, three people are purchasing without using the discount code. If you want to use the discount code, um, it's ending on Monday. So anniversary special, use code one year at the checkout, polychromedsp.com, and you'll get Cryboy, the new Wawa plugin, absolutely free. That's included. And um, it's the very latest, the, the latest version of the McGrocken Suite, well, which is what we're using. Brilliant. Uh, uh, this is true, Chili. I gotta get I gotta get everything you know, dialed in. The stupid I know there's any chance to get the difference. Dude, it's no problem at all. It happens every day. You will get the difference back. If not tomorrow, on Monday morning. You'll be fine. Um, Chris, I have no... Uh, I think fundamentally there's something not right here, Chris. I don't know where you put in the link, but when you say you put in the link, if you put it in the chat, I ain't seen it at all. Like here's my, on my right. And I searched for your name before, and it's only you talking about a link, but I never see a link of any sort. So like if you put like a link to SoundCloud, Spotify, it probably will not even show up for any users because it'll be blocked. Which is why you shouldn't have said, someone's deleted my post. Because it's auto-deleting comments that you might be posting in. We generally never delete anything, even if it's a... Criti uh, critique or whatever, we ju it just all gets left up. We don't really go back to old comments and posts and stuff like that. So I seriously recommend joining the Discord so you can actually post your music and let us check it out. But yeah, so far it just looks like you're talking about a link, but I never see any link, mate. I have no idea. Um, so let me know you right or left guy. Like, I mean, I think it's kind of obvious. You've got to be joking, mate. Imagine if you switched to left. Have you ever played left-handed? 
<laughs> yeah. It's hard. Yeah. <clears throat> it's really hard. Like, oh, mate, like, oh. It's a good, mate. It's a good way to remind yourself of, like, how you started. <laughs> yeah, this is Isn't true. It? That's true, that's true. You know, if you're ever feeling bad about your playing and you're practicing, just switch around. Yeah, that's so true. That, that was the beginning. Uh, any plans for a hardware version of Polychrome uh, for live use? So Polychrome DSP is a, it's a software company, right? Mm -hmm. And we only have released one product so far uh, this year. You'll see more products from Polychrome DSP, uh, which will be announced very <laughs> soon. Um, but no immediate plans for a hardware version of a plugin or anything like that. You never know further down the line, but right now, um, our schedule is um, not including hardware right now. Um, it's not a dumb question at all, um, sick guns. Um, so I use a lot of alternate picking and hybrid picking, but Tim uses probably a bit more uh, not hybrid, um, you use a little bit more economy picking, I'd say. Music, yeah, so I, I would say 70% is economy picking, um, but I also use alternate picking as well, which is a really important part of my play. Yeah, and I think it's it's good to be fluent with all those sort of basic, well, I wouldn't maybe call them basic, but fundamental modern guitar techniques in terms of like what you can do with the picking. In terms of yeah. economy, how, well, basic understanding of it, yeah. alternate picking, yeah. hybrid picking, you know, just even if it's just getting a little bit of it introduced. Yeah, because I just, you know, I just wanted to be able to play sort of really odd groups of notes on strings, you know, like three notes mm -hmm. here, two notes there on a different str one on another, and economy picking was the way to do those really awkward picking things. You're one of them, Arthur. <laughs> the guy's it. Uh, it'll be Luca. Luca, like sipping his coffee. Oh, another one. Like, what's wrong? Why? Why is no one using the discount code? Yeah. Directional picking and trying to get into that. Mate, I heard about that, Robert. That's when you uh, pick in the opposite direction of what you're playing in. Huh? Yeah, and it's also like if if you pick on the high E string, you're playing on the low string. Sorry, X. Do it. <laughs> It's like this, mate. This is, um... Alright. That's like, alright. Okay, like, five here, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just... I'm, I'm just you're joking just, with Robert. Alright, you just... Can you imagine that, though? You right. see, you only pick on one string, but you pick, you, you fret another. Well, Eddie did it on... I can't remember what track well, it was. Eddie did that? Yeah, I'm diving it down. It's Eddie? like, um... Oh, I can't, what is it? It was like a little flamenco thing, wasn't it? Chili will know. And you go. Sorry, it's home. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no, no, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, so that's a little thing. bit more legit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, what is directional picking? Were you just making that I don't up? No. Right. So, I want to know does anybody know what directional picking is? Explain it. All right, guys, we're, we're big news here. Um, we've got a reply. I, I hate to ask what time it is over there. Um, Oh, it's not going to focus on that, but... Hey, Thomas, um, your pedal is in Boston. Boston is still quite far from the UK, to be fair. We'll follow up on it Monday. Sorry. I mean, that's fair enough. I mean, he's replied. There we go. I'm excited to try this new expression thing because I think it's Bluetooth. And that means it could be wireless. A wireless expression pedal mm -hmm. that's spring-loaded and has other functionality. That could be great for the McRockland suite and other mm -hmm. plugins. It could be great. Uh, but I've been telling people like on Discord, like there's new things coming. And, um, they just think I'm losing my mind. <laughs> like what thing is it? Oh, look at that, Stewie, smiley, happy guy is here. Lovely. Lovely indeed, yes, mate. George Benson does, <laughs> it a, lot, does a lot, right. That would be great, Arthur, if you wouldn't mind, yeah. But then, Arthur, you'll have to fly it over to the UK. You'll have to fly it over, mate. Okay, chat's coming in about um, picking. Here we go. The YouTube chat on the right is more ahead of here. There we go. Basically, picking the direction of the strings. Oof. Oh, I, you know what? This question gives me um, less 
brain thinking power taken up than Robert's question. I'm gonna have to look at Robert's question more seriously. Mm -hmm. Favorite Queen track? Oh man, there's so many. How, how do you even choose like one? I can imagine just a single Queen track. I want to break free. <laughs> I want to break free. It's got to be up there, though, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's because it's got groove and it's it's just. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um. We got my what my name came up for the waitlist of a Solar Sound Pro M2 Bender, but Marky wants nine hundred foot, and I got one and ten. This is batches. Uh, you know, I'm. Uh, you, you Solar or Solar? Like Ola England's brand? Like Solar or Solar? But either way, I'm not sure of the value of their guitars, mate. I, I would hate to give you, like, on a live stream, like, their wrong advice. Like, the guitars were. Yeah, it's, it's England, right? Solar. Oh, okay. Ola England. I mean, from what I've seen of the the Solar stuff, it looks very good, but I have no idea of like the the resale value, the new value, you know, I, I, I don't know. But they seem to have a, a good reputation from what I've seen. Oh, it's a fuzz pedal? Man, I can't. Braxel, I would love to give you some info, mate. But like, if it's something like a fuzz pedal, that like a boutique brand or something, mate. I would, I wouldn't give you the wrong advice, mate. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. You just go one direction, mate. Yeah, right. So this, I think it's like a gypsy jazz thing. <clears throat> so instead of like skipping over the note, yeah. effectively what you'll do, you'll end up hitting the note twice because you just rip the angle. Yeah, so you just brutally hit, but you that that extra hit is muted. You don't hear it. Interesting. Interesting. We're gonna have to check it out. Um, <clears throat> I wonder if we should um, play another track. Something soft. Maybe not soft. Something heavy. <laughs> you wanna play ballad touch? Yeah, I'm just practice my direction. Oh yeah. Alright, what is this? C sharp minor. We need all the lighters in the chat though. All of the lighters. Oh no, Tim, would be very hot minor. Alright, you're gonna take the first solo and you're gonna make it rain. Tears in the chat. Alright, let's go guys, let's go. Here we go. tears will roll in and can I make more tears in the chat let me get you warmed up here I'm not even gonna play the first section I'm just gonna let you guys think 
about the hardship. Make it rain, Arch. Oh
It just stopped, mate. Nah. Oh my god! Oh, look cool. at that. There you go, big guys pulling out. <laughs> nah, uh, <laughs> I think I think it was that that was that big Ben right at the top that just pushed MR. Oh mate, that F sharp, mate, thank you. That's the kebab sorted. Oh, I didn't think we were gonna get any kebabs tonight. Yeah, guys, that was the sunglasses, kid. Stuart, Stuart, that was the sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good, yeah. There you go, mate. So uh yeah. You guys should make a porno track also. Just say, mate, that 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 with the shred over the top. Mm -hmm. that, that's like that's all you need. Every scene ever. I mean, it has to be soft. I mean, we're talking about leather clothes on and full jackets, you know. Maybe there's an elbow that touches and there's a bit of flirting in the elevator. We're talking about, you know, <laughs> we're talking about like PG here. You yeah, know, yeah. Like, you know, okay. you know, not even dating. No. Yeah, that, no, you know, that, that level of romance we're talking about. Yeah. <sighs> not sick guns going all in, like, you know, like he's thinking, but crazy fool. Shit, did I just swear again? Not be There you go. It's going to take some time, I think, to get used to the habit. Now that we've got the beeper working, it's going to take a little time to get that. See, the thing is, is to be fair, thanks again, Mike. <sighs> ah, thanks, Emma, for that. Uh, Thank you. For the 20. What a guy. Yeah. It's, it's when I'm sitting here. Like, if, if I was sat, like, here, Oh, sorry, it's on the wrong camera. This camera's normally facing this way. If I was out here, like, bang, you know, then it's all good. Um, let's celebrate their 10th super on the live stream. Oh, my God! You got a special message. How do... Wow, look at that. You see that? I got a party icon on my chat, and it said, let's celebrate their 10th super on a live stream. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why, that's why it's got a balloon and a dancing 10. You guys can see that, right? You guys can see that in the chat, right? Surely. Oh, mate. I'm, I'm play waiting for the right time. Because th this is a bromance track. If there ever was a bromance track. You know? Mm -hmm. MR. He's been through it all. Through the thick and thin since the early days. Mm -hmm. Given the good advice. MR was typing... Give me good comments on members' chat, even those days where I was feeling down. Yeah. MR was there. What key is this in? D minor. As long as we're alive, we got a chance. As long as we're alive, MR, we got a chance.
I just went uh, D flat there. I just shot it over. There we go. I thought it was me. <laughs> Any advice on how to improv while Im improve while improvising with a back and track? Uh, you two make it look um, so easy. Jay Marble. Um, I think being really familiar with every note on the fretboard and every key and knowing how you can string them together is really, really important. Um, there's actually a, a free lesson that you can get on School of McRock if you download the free toolkit. It's called, um, what is it called again? It's been a while since we put that one up, but it's part of the six lessons that you can get for free. Uh, it's called the free toolkit. And it has one, I think it's like unlocking the fretboard. It has a lesson which is quite specific to like ways that you can visualize the fretboard. Um, but yeah, I think just knowing all the notes, so when you look at the fretboard, you know, I don't know, like that's a seventh fret and that's uh, the G string. It, what note is it? It's D. And then you, then you link all the, the octaves, right? You go, okay, that's D. There's an octave. There's a low octave. And you do the next note, the next note. Or sometimes you might do it in, with scales. But like anything that you can help, that can help you to link them all together. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Um, is there any specific way that you unlock and look at the fretboard when you look down and you see all the notes? Definitely pattern recognition is a big one, but one mm -hmm. of the things, uh, the, for the practicing, one thing I do that's loads of fun is mm -hmm. practice in slow motion. Joe Delorio, the, the jazz guy, used to do that. Really? So I just play everything really slow for back and track. Maybe it's half speed, less, you know, like really slow and then speed it up. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, because I guess when you're improvising, it's like it's uncertainty that makes you sound not like an amateur, but like, you know, the, the, there's the, that sort of crossover period where someone's like feeling their way and they're hearing the sounds by playing the sound and they go, ah, no, not that note. You know, it's like, it, it, you know what I mean, right? Yeah. It's like they're feeling their way around a little bit, like touchy, touchy go. So it's like, yeah, I think if, if you know exactly how something's gonna sound before you play it, then that's a, a good yeah. place to be at. Yeah, I can imagine the cage system would be coming handy for that. Yeah, put a few uh, patterns together, rip it up and down. BRS reviews, Tim. Hello. Yeah, uh, what time are we on? Um, not too bad, not oh, too yeah. bad, but it is almost about o'clock. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a nice way of uh, putting the McRockle in. Yeah, yeah. Like a dab in McRocklin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no worries. Um, check out the free toolkit on, on School McRock, though. Um, just get it and you know, have a play around with it over the weekend. It might make all the difference. It might not, but at least it's free. <sighs> yeah. So what's your plans over the weekend, Tim? Mm, I, need to, I need to edit some video. Edit some video? I edit some video, yeah. I gotcha. Editing video is, some people love it and some people hate it. I'm sitting on the fence, I'm not sure what I think of it at the minute. But I need to get the intro video done. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a, f I like... I like it. Uh, it gets you into flow, doesn't it? You get lost I, in it. I, I did like video editing a lot more. Now I am so, like, I am glad that I had so much video editing overall, like it, it went from like Instagram to YouTube to School of McGrock and blah, blah, blah. And, and then all the side projects and stuff, do you know what I mean? And like, when I started doing like launch product videos where you have to think about it, like you, you've got 83 seconds and you need to squeeze in this many shots and this mm -hmm. many text and titles and how are you going to do it? And then it's like, that's when you start getting into some seriously gritty ed editing. Is that an actual 83 seconds? Is that like... Well, it would be specific. Like, if you imagine, like, if you write a launch song, like the Polychrome yeah, DSP yeah, yeah. McGrock and Sweet launch, I didn't know what was going to be in the video. I kind of had a rough idea, so I just wrote the song. And then the song ended up being like, I don't know, like 90 seconds or whatever it was. And it's like, okay, now we have this many features that we need to showcase and this many titles and we need to be synced up and it needs to come and go in a fluent way. It's like, yeah, it's like, yeah. yeah. And here's the footage and it's an S-log format. You know, it's like, okay, 
I'll do the grading. Yeah. Tim promised us some cool content. You can do it. Yes. That's... Yes. <laughs> and I am. <laughs> what, what's the first video going to be? Do you know yet? Are you telling people about what the channel's going to be doing? Oh, so you're going to have that as your... Um, yeah, it's going to be like... Loads, it's, going to be lo it's not going to be like one specific thing because <laughs> I'm in this for the long term. So, you know, there'll be like production stuff. There'll be tons of like mindset coaching things on there. Um, and then there'll be a lot of guitar. Cool. Well, Tim's channel should be linked in, in this stream. Um, it's at, at Tim Hutch. So uh, make sure you drop him a, a sub and uh, check it out. Check it out. Um, quick reminder, guys, um, the sale ends on Monday. This is the last chance to get a mad discount on the McRocklin suite and to get the Cryboy Wow Wow plug-in absolutely free. So use the code one year at polychromedsp.com. Uh, the code will be ending forever on Monday. So don't come in on me on Tuesday on Discord. Say, hey, I, I, I forgot to use the code. Oh, I, I want to use the code. It's, it's literally will ending and we're changing um, checkout providers after that as well. So that code will be bad for good. Bad for good. Mm -hmm. So yeah, use it one one year, uh, and you can go and get the the McRocklin Suite. This is the plugin that we're using for all of the tones, four amplifiers, 500 plus presets, all of the effects that you would ever need for a guitarist. And there you go, there it is. Polychrome DSP McRocklin Suite, and you you can use the code one year and get an extra special deal and get our latest plugin, Wa, the Cryboy Wa, for free. No eye lock required as well. So yeah, check it out. Uh, that is uh, polygramdsp.com. There you go. Yeah, I'm excited to see some YouTube stuff from, yeah, yeah. from Hutch. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. No, it's going to be fun. I think you should do a running channel. A mindset, because you know, running and mindset and running is very, very important. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, as soon as you start running, you, your body goes, oh, I don't like this. Yeah, yeah. Five minutes in. Oh, I love it. I don't like this. Yeah. 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 I don't like this. And then like 10 minutes in, it's like... It's harder you don't want to stop. Yeah. yeah it's, it's like, I don't... Today I listened to Fat of the Land, Prodigy. Oh, yeah. The entire album yeah. on a run. Well, it was on the treadmill, so... But I was like, okay. And I... And I, and I I was I was enjoying it, but I, I did have to go to Skrillex Openers. Have you heard the Skrillex Openers? EP? Two tracks? Oh man! If you I'm want, no, I'm no Skrillex fan. No. Oh mate, for running though, I I will literally sprint for. After 30 minutes of like fair pace running, mm -hmm. you know, six minute kilometers, I put Skrillex on and I'm able to sprint my maximum. Nice. I mean, only for like maybe two minutes, mm -hmm. but like enough to absolutely heart rate's 180 BPM. I'm gassed. I feel like mm -hmm. I'm gonna die, sort of thing. Yeah. Hit my 21k today! Oh shit, Stu, I'm doing like baby stuff compared to you, mate. <laughs> yeah, 21k is a good wow. distance. I'm, I'm like 5k on the treadmill after a weight session. That's it. Is there a way to chain Polychrome DSP with another plugin? Um, it depends what you want to do exactly, Joseph. I mean, it, sorry, that's, gl that's, that's blurring. Uh, technically, in your door, you could put anything below or, or before or, and after. It depends what you want to do. Um, but it would just behave like another plugin inside of your door, except it has everything in it. Viking, it's all about getting the breathing down. Yeah, 100%. Once you, once you can like go and be in control and like mm -hmm. feel like you could actually have a conversation with someone. Yeah. I think once you get over that and you're not like gassed, then you're in a good spot. Um, I have a pitch shifter or another one you'd like to use. Yeah, 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 absolutely. You can use it before that, no problem. The treadmill is my new bestie. Oh, cool. Rediscovering some absolute classic albums. Yeah, it's it's good for that. I, I've been enjoying that too. Like Fat of the Land, for mm -hmm. example. Like uh, it's, it's been like years since I heard that album. Yeah. The only thing is, is like when you scream and smack my bitch up and there's like, <laughs> there's like, 14 treadmills in full use by like everyone. I'm like, oh, nah, gotta remember not to not to say that. Yeah. 
good good tracks on that album though good tracks um i also had a session listen to my favorite uh early 90s well actually it'd be about 93 94 drum and bass very inspired yeah hutch's hair's here oh my god we've got a brand new channel called hutch's hair <laughs> this is amazing this is the best thing i've ever seen on youtube and i need to add it to the chat look at that oh my god that's wow wow well that there's actually now a channel called hutch's hair excellent e excellent this is incredible <laughs> mate i must i must make sure i check it out and oh oh, oh, oh what what do i have this <laughs> hutch's wow. hair oh mate I, I made the chat so small i can't even You, you can see it glitching across the screen, but I made it so small, I don't know how. Make it bigger. What? <laughs> what, what have I done? I, you can see it running across the screen, right? I'm sorry I'm late. Yeah, but how, how did I make this this thing so small? Oh, there we go. It's getting uh, bigger. Uh, there uh, we go. Ah, oh, my gosh. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. We're back in action. Mate. Hutch's hair is going places indeed. Wow. <laughs> I'm just going to keep adding that comment. <laughs> I need to subscribe to that. That's excellent. That's trolling at its finest right there. Very good. Yes. All right, for that, we're going to play one more funky track from uh, this backing track website that had disco backing tracks. All right. I, uh, well, I, I think it is uh, funky backing tracks. Soul? No, we need... What, what's that? Oh, come on. Like, that's not... That's definitely not... F minor magic? Come on, mate. Come on, mate. He's got to have something funky and disco-y on this, this. Does it have playlists? Samba rock? <laughs> what? Blues? What? This what? Good vibes? Ooh, let's have a look what's in good vibes. <laughs> oh, no, this one's an E flat. Troll bear. Major. No, no, we're going to go back. Well, E flat major. Okay. D C minor. <laughs> this is. Oh, I mean, I, I think we're just gonna have to go disco. Okay. Oh, there we go. A minor. Been playing in Dorian earlier. That's funky.
jumper stopped all my notes. Here we go. Nice bit of disco to end the ne the evening. Mm -hmm. Oh, there we go, guys. Tim Hutch on the shreds. I was doing most yes. of the cleans. A little bit of silliness there. Uh, we played to the back camera as well, Ty. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oy, oy, oy. Ah, look at that. Um, thank you, um, Jordan. Uh, Tim's channel is linked down below um, at Tim Hutch UK. UK, yeah. On YouTube. Uh, check Subscribe, it out. check it out. Let's go. Give us scuba dip. And uh, remember, guys, don't mess around. If you don't get the code used by Monday, it will end on Monday. Luca will not be going back and going, oh, I will give you a, the same discount. There you go. Use code one year to celebrate the Polygram DSP one year anniversary on polygramdsp.com and get all of the tones, the tones of your dreams. Uh, great to see you guys. Beautiful music. Enjoy the kebabs. Mate, we definitely will. And thanks for providing the kebabs. You absolute legend. What a guy. Um, yeah, so I think uh, 
Any final words before we head and order the kebabs? Hey, thank you, Stuart, Jeff, Jordan, Robert, everyone that stayed to the end. Also, thanks for everyone that's hit the thumbs up. I don't know if we'll get it to 100 thumbs up. We will not. I don't think we'll make it to 100. But it was a valiant, valiant effort. Absolutely. No. Oh. Oh, I'm tired now. You're tired? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I only had four eggs, mate. Four eggs and a oh. bit of cheese. I'm raring to go. I've had nothing. Oh, actually, you know what? Actually, I tell a lie. I've had some. Mm -hmm. I had some Greek yogurt. <laughs> Which yeah. is her uh, keep hairspray away from me, correct? Uh, Ergo, thank you very much, mate. <laughs> Which is hair. Uh, it does like dry me. shampoo. Yeah, I, I love the avatar as well. It's it's very. Um, it's an own colour, but yeah. It's like um, it's it's like a demonic version of your hair. Mm -hmm. It's like you know, like if you went to the forest in Japan, in Japan, and something happened, and you came back like a, vi yeah. a violent. But maybe that's not Woman. my real hair, and like my real hair will appear and, and they'll have a showdown. Uh, perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps. Well, on that note, we'll see you back here soon, or I'll see you on the, the Discord, guys. Have a lovely weekend, and um, thank you everyone for participating in a lovely, fun live stream. Uh, yeah. I'm still intrigued. It's the back lighting the back lighting there we go oh it's so yeah it's, it's very it's very lit then yeah okay here we go um uh, yeah I, I i like i like where you were going with that track sick guns 910 yeah brilliant <laughs> stuff all right take it easy bye <laughs>